Drive safe. Okay. Jeff? Green. Okay, cool. This is the famous winter driven Lambo. Been on Jalopnik and everything. I don't know how I got lucky enough to be here, but I managed to sweet talk my way into a onboard with him. So this should be fun. The winter driven Lambo. So as far as I understand, this is kind of a famous car. This has been featured on Jalopnik and everything like that, right? Sure. If you want to call it famous, it's just my baby. That's how I look at it. Well, it's just, it's everybody says, if I had a Lambo, I'd drive it in the winter, but You're they don't. Yeah. They don't because it's not, you have to be half crazy to drive one of these things in the winter. But I guess with winter tires, like, they're a handling car. They're meant to be. You will see even on the track, you know, uh, if I don't take the traction off, it grips and it actually works amazingly. Uh, and you know what? I, I feel that this car drives better than probably most disc cars on the road, you know, the Beamers and the normal cars. Uh, it has an all wheel drive system and it has a very good system. So I love it. Like I truly feel safer in it than the Range Rover even. It, it drives that good. Really? Yeah. You will see now. I truly believe that the sophistication behind the traction here, that who knows what they did, but it works incredible. Uh, you will see once we're out there, like I'll do a lap with the traction and then without, and then you will see without how bad of a driver I am. You know, I did, today I have definitely not even looked at time or anything. I'm just trying to keep it safe exactly. and enjoy and uh, really <laughs> take turns. I'm trying to figure out how to drift continuously. I was saying, we're learning to drive sideways today. Yeah. Seems like I've been doing more looping and donuts and around instead, but... Uh, You're a brave man doing loops out here. Those banks aren't soft. <laughs> it's It's been an awesome, awesome day. You know, when I saw that you guys were out here, it didn't seem like it was real. Like, I was like, there's no way there's somebody that crazy to take a Lamborghini out here and then I get here and there's like there's an R8 as well over there and that's one of your buddies that's here with you right yeah. I posted online I'm like who is brave enough and coming along because I'm doing it and sure enough um, Kyle joined which is awesome good uh, good on him you know he's 23 years old and just you pay all that money you, you gotta have fun with it he was very cautious and you know safe and uh, the cars are not made out of uh, you know, plastics, they're fine. Like you can really drive them and they will handle it. It just, uh, obviously, if you break something, it will be a bit more painful than the normal. But, yeah. Uh, knock on wood, so far we've been good and nothing's breaking and hopefully we'll finish this uh, lap again, you know, safe and sound. Uh, first time I'm out with the Rally Club, definitely awesome. Probably gonna see me more, I would think. Some of the boys here are pretty damn good. When you come out here in a Lamborghini, nobody really cares if you're fast. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're here, yeah. who cares? Fair, it's fair impressive enough, enough as yeah, it is. Fair enough. All right, let's see what the lap looks like. Jesus Christ, we're in a Lamborghini. So you've been getting much rev limiter action while you're out here, or no? Oops. Oh! It happens. <laughs> Not even the slightest bit concerned. It's okay. <laughs> you know, it's uh, when it's the high speeds that will damage it. Yeah, the low I, speed I, thump is okay. <laughs> yeah. And we've been going fairly okay. Definitely not uh, not gonna go full speed on this way. I'm just yeah. amazed at how well it's handling this. Like it's, it's incredible. For such a bad driver. Well, no, no, not at all. That's not what I mean. No, I'm telling you, I'm. I'm they, <laughs> they, they made me realize how bad I am and like how I really have lots to improve on. Which is uh, a good thing, you know, because okay, I can learn and I can practice and become a better driver. Okay, so um, we're gonna try without traction control now? Yes. That's how I've been driving the whole day.
too far. There's our tame racing driver, Fernando. does that throughout the day it will just get slicker and slicker as time goes on. <laughs> what a fucking savage man. <laughs> this was the, this is one of the corners that catches people out a lot where they end up way over there. Really? Especially into here because you want to carry speed into here but you also don't want to carry so much speed that you end up out into the bank. Exactly what I'm trying to get out. People need to understand it's a very capable car. 